So uh, this is the uh, Kobe Bryant uh, film room. And uh, I basically want to kind of introduce myself. Uh, I'm a long time basketball fan. Uh, I grew up a Lakers fan, uh, playing the game. Uh, my dad played the game. Pretty much my whole family <laughs> played basketball and uh, grew up with a love and a passion for the game. That's why, it's one of the reasons why Kobe Bryant is my favorite player of all time, along with Magic Johnson. I'm, I love Magic too, but um, yeah, I just want to kind of give a brief introduction to, just to go over some things about this channel. Uh, I decided to create this channel because of uh, a lot of media lies and a lot of misinformation, a lot of omission about Kobe Bryant's actual career. And I find it real weird um, saying, oh, well, he, I, I heard uh, from this guy that, I, that I'm cool with, man, Kobe ain't have no handle like that. And so I'm like, my jaw is to the floor. I'm like, yo, you said Bean don't have a handle? <laughs> and so, you know, man, I was shocked at the things he was saying, man. He was saying things like, man, Michael Jordan, uh, Michael Jordan wasn't clutch. They me, they me five clutch shots. Michael Jordan hit. I'm like, yo, are you are you serious right now? So what I realized is that the media is kind of brainwashing people to uh, focus on one player. Uh, uh, the media is kind of trying to downplay the success of other basketball players, Hall of Famers, things like that. But I've noticed in particularly they've aimed their sights at one. Kobe being Bryant. Um, in my opinion, Kobe is the greatest basketball player of all time. Uh, it's not a statistical argument. So guys, don't try and leave me old 30 something at 16 and I don't give a fuck about stats, bro. I care about impact on winning. I care about competition. I care about one-on-one -on -one matchups. I care about individual man-to-man -man defense. And I care about the bag, the variety of moves when give, when being put in a situation. What moves do you have to get yourself out of that situation and also excel in that in those situations? So don't leave me for people who want to watch this channel and enjoy the content. Please don't leave me no stats, man. I, I probably will block you, bro. Um. Because no stat is going to really tell you a player's impact. It's not going to tell you who they guarded at the end of the game. It's not going to tell you whether they were willing to take the last shot or did they shy away. It's not going to tell you uh, the, 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 uh, the heart and the determination that they played with. It's not going to tell you the defensive schemes. It's, it's not going to tell you none of that. Um, and so all those stats do help. I don't rely on them. Don't leave me accolades either. Uh, <laughs> eight MVPs. I don't give a fuck about MVPs, man. Jokic could have been a, a, the MVP last year. He didn't get it. Right. So it's, it's an opinion based award, even though there's some merit to it, because you do have to perform well. It really what people should be going by of is how often is your name up there whether you're top five or top ten in mvp considerations because the, the award could go any old way i'm not going to entertain dumb conversations about how kobe has only one mvp because Shaq only has one mvp and steve nash has two and you can't tell me Kobe and James Harden are the same player. It's dumb. Uh, James Harden has an MVP. Dwayne Wade is considered better than James Harden. You know, it's not a statistical thing. So, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to go through the media lies uh, and uh, just kind of give a brief summary on me. 
uh, I'll try to upload some videos and get you guys some content and things, give you my opinion on the game, break down some basketball moves from Kobe, maybe some other players further down the line. But right now, I want to stick to Kobe. By the way, this is not a LeBron hate channel. Uh, just because I Kobe's my favorite player doesn't mean I have to hate LeBron or discredit Jordan or try, you know, I don't have to do none of that, bro. I think Kobe's career stands on its own. Although, I can and will expose lies. So if I do make those videos about certain players, it's going to be just to expose the truth. But that'll be considered hate nowadays because people are emotional uh, and uh, they're assholes. Uh, and those people should be blocked. And uh, I'm all for freedom of speech, but uh, I can't have freedom of speech on my channel. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, man, certain certain things need to be exposed, man. Uh, and at first, I wasn't going to make the channel. But I've decided to after. I was like, man, the, these kids have to be educated on the history of the game. There's more to basketball than even Kobe Bryant. You know, uh, study the game, man. Watch other people play. Watch, watch LeBron James. Watch Jordan. Watch Kareem. Uh, all the great players of the past. I hope we can watch and enjoy all of them uh, for what they bring to the table. Uh, basketball is a chess game, you know? Some players ain't going to give you big numbers, but they're going to give you high IQ plays. Uh, I respect role players. I don't disrespect role players. Uh, I respect the hell out of guys like Derek Fisher, Robert Ory. Uh, guys like that, guys who know the game and been around the game. And um, so we're going to acknowledge all greatness, even greatness from people who were considered role players. Um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that uh, this is a basketball channel. Uh, I, maybe down the line I'll get into some other stuff, but uh, not right now. But uh this does it for the first edition of the uh, Kobe Bryant film world.